with the new reserve right around the corner there is actually going to be a creator weekend in this upcoming weekend where a lot of the creators within the call of the wild community are going to go out and play on the new new zealand reserve i have not been invited this time around but it's not going to stop me from trying to provide you guys with the same kind of content that you always get from me in these weekends this time whenever you then see some kind of new zealand footage it's just going to be through the eyes of some of the other creators within the community however in this video we're going to be taking a look on the new 303 or at least as much as we know about it yet. The new FL Sporter 303 bolt action rifle is what we're getting. And it is actually, to my surprise, gonna be a weapon class 4 till 8. I had expected it to be a 3 till 7, at least with the species that we have on the map, where the biggest animal you'll find is gonna be the red deer. A 3 till 7 would have covered that, as the red deer is a class 6 animal, and I expect most of the animals to be 3 till 4 on this map, except obviously the rabbits and the turkey, who is gonna be a class 1 animal animal but we already know that the fallow deer is going to be a class 4 animal i would expect the goats and the shami to be threes and sea calves probably going to be the same as the fallow deer so that's probably going to be a class 4 animal the feral pig i have an idea that's also going to be ranged either as class 4 maybe 5 but i'm uh, pretty sure it is going to be a class 4 animal but with that you actually could cover everything with a 3 to 7 rifle as long as you obviously bring the 22 for the small game as well. But with this rifle being a 4 till 8, it is actually putting us in a situation where we need a 3 rifle setup if we want to be running around and able to shoot everything with the new 303 as well included. However, you could be running around with the Mosin. Is this going to be the return of the Mosin Nagant? It might, because the Solokin has definitely got the power to take down Red Deers, and it is super overpowered to take down anything in the class 3 and 4 range. So I might actually myself, whenever I get access to the reserve, start bringing out the uh, Mosin again, because you do not need any of the big game rifles for anything. Mosin is a powerhouse. It all comes down to how the uh, 303 performs compared to the 30-06 and the M1, if I'm going to be swapping that out in any of the loadouts. But let's just take a moment and try to compare all of the rifles we now have in the range 4 to 8, which is going to be the 270, the 6.5, the 30-06, the M1, and now a 303 as well. And looking at it, it's actually got the exact same stats as the 270, except it weighs half a unit less, which actually makes it weigh in at the same weight as the M1, making it a direct competitor to that. It also has five rounds in the magazine, so it is basically going to be a coin flip if you want to be bringing the 303 or the M1, if you can only fit that small weight in your backpack however if you want to go really light you're obviously going to have to go with the 6.5 that is only three units but also as we all know there really isn't much point in comparing the guns to the guns it's actually the bullets the projectiles that we have to compare to each other to really find out how good a gun is and as the m1 and the 30 odd six uses the same bullet we're obviously go only going to have four on the screen here however we are going to be looking at the polymer tips which is always going to be the bullet type that i'm going to advise you to use no matter which gun you're using use the one with the biggest penetration but it pretty clearly shows that the two that you should be comparing is the 30 odd six and the 303 both of them are nearly identical. The only difference is that the uh, 303 actually has one more in expansion than the 30 out 6, which is used both in the M1 and the 30 out 6, making the 303 a direct competitor to the M1. And as a guy that prefers the 30 out 6, I still think that is probably going to be the gun that I'm going to be using simply because I think it sounds better and I never really have any problem with backspace. But if I did have backspace problems, I would probably consider the 303 over the M1 because it has less recoil and um, yeah, it sounds better than the M1. I don't like the M1 sound. I actually do have a shot with the 303 here as well, just so you guys can hear and see what it looks like. Oh, shucks. Thanks, bug boy. You're gonna have to have a pet. 
I'm getting a green screen next week, hopefully. So um, there'll be more room to sort of... But yeah, this was the very first look we got of this brand new gun on the EW livestream. And it is an in-dev build. It is live from their Twitch stream as well. That is why there is a beautiful Megalotron and a TK on screen as well. But yeah, I think the purpose of the 303 is to actually give people a uh, different alternative to the M1 and the 30-06 without having to buy a weapon pack. Because this gun you can obtain by buying the New Zealand DLC, which basically means that you could be skipping out on getting smoking barrels or getting weapon pack 3 if you do not feel the need to have specifically a 30-06 or an M1 for the bigger game. I think it's a pretty smart move. It does look to be an interesting gun. Is it going to be my go-to gun in the 4 to 8 range? No. Would I have liked to see it be the gun to really challenge the motion in a 3 to 7 environment? Possibly. I would really have loved to see something else, especially on a map where the biggest animals we're going to be shooting is going to be the red deer. Would have been awesome to be able to use it on pretty much all of the animals, but I also see why they do not want to have just a, uh, another one gun <laughs> for all kind of thing, as we did have with the Mosin back in the time and we might have again. Thank you so very much for watching.